all right so welcome back again so in this wonderful session we'll be trying to do a simple project with python and machine learning right so we're trying to go through the machine learning life cycle in which we have some data which has already been collected then we're trying to see how to do some simple data pre preparation using pandas uh, neat test and then you do some simple feature engineering we build a model we will then move straight away to get the model and then we'll move on to productionize our model right using streamlet can also use flux and then we'll see how to deploy them with docker so sometimes when you are doing or following this particular life cycle you have to also track and monitor your model so you can use ml flow you can use prometheus you can use grafana you can use weight and bias you can use neptune but in this session we'll be trying to use a simple custom way to track and monitor our model okay so let's see what we build at the end so by the end of this tutorial i'll be trying to build this simple app right which is very very simple which is a test classifier app which is used to to detect the emotions in test right so you have done that tutorial some time ago but you'll be just going through using a pipeline approach so let me paste in a test here so let's say i love coding so much right it makes me happy something like that if i paste in this particular test here and i click on the submit button it's going to analyze this particular test it's going to give us our result right so it's going to give us the original test here as you can see it's giving us the original test and then let me reduce it to make it smaller it's giving us the original test i love coding so much it makes me happy then we are going to be giving the emotion right so this is the emotion joy with an e with an emoji there then you're also going to be giving the confidence of that particular prediction right it is 93 percent confident that it is joy and this is going to give us a very simple plot right that you can expand to see the joy right perfect and all of these these are all the various emotions within our data set that's a very simple app you're building so the app is having some other sections and the sentiment analysis which is this app is part of a broader app right so after that you can also go back to the manage aspect of the app if i go to the manage you can see all the various pages that we have visited in this wonderful app right so this is part of the app and then you may cover some of them right so this is the page metrics all the various places you have visited in the app right so the home part the test classifier app and then you can see some wonderful charts right of of all the things we have visited of, of the place we have visited within the app right like, which is very useful to keep track of the app and then we can also come down here to get the emotion metrics right so this is going to be the metrics of the of the test so the app is not just for prediction but also for collecting data right so we are going to collect all the data the predictions the probability and then going to have a simple simple plot right of the predictions there so that is a simple app you're trying to build by the end of this wonderful tutorial so let's start from scratch so do, i'm just going to go back to my github and i'll open github and i'm going to be doing everything from scratch right so this is going to be a simple project so the code and everything is going to be on github and then you, you get it so this is github in case you don't have an account on github you can just go to github and i'll just go back to new right i'll create a new repository or you can click here to create a new repository then i'm going to call the particular repository let's give it a simple project so end to end end to end nlp project nlp project right something like that something very simple so this is going to be an end to end nlp project with python right something like that so that is something simple i'm creating a repository that i'll be keeping these things there so i'm going to make it public and then i'm going to add a readme right i'm not going to add any license so i just go straight away and i'll just click on create repository go to create a repository which will be using to track our work right it's very important okay so there's it right so i'm going to copy this one here there's nothing here copy this one and i'm going to go back to my terminal so this is the original the old app that is being run there's the old one that is running uh yep the jupyter notebook so let's close the old one the old app Right, I'm going to close that particular app. Let's go back again and let's go back to this place. Right, I'm just going to go back to my GitHub. I have my folder for GitHub, so cd into my document. I'll go to my J GitHub. I'm going to clone there, so git clone the particular repository. So it's cloning to that particular place. Perfect. So let's move into the end to end. And there's nothing that only just a readme so inside this particular place i'm going to create my stuff so i'm going to create my directory or, or let's not create a directory but here i'm going to create my files that i'm using so i'll be creating two main directories it's going to be my make 
directory called data where I'll be storing my data and another one for my models where I'll be storing my models. So if I check it out, then we have our data folder for our data set and our models folder for our models. Then let's create our file, so app.py file. So that's going to be the app that we're working on. So if I go back again and I check it out, so we have our app.py file, our data and our models, right? Now let's move on to the first stage of the app, right? So the first stage of the app is that we'll be building our model, model right? So based on this, we'll be trying to get our data, do some data preparation, and do some simple feature engineering to build a model. So that's the first thing. And I'll be using Pandas, Jupyter Notebook, and then Neatest in the scikit-learn. So I'll go back to my workspace, same place that I'm working on, and we already have our Jupyter running already. So let's close this Jupyter Notebook. Yeah, I'm going to close this one, close from here. And this is the place that you're working on right here. Perfect. So I'm going to call this place as my notebook. So notebooks, right? And I'll move into my notebooks. And then let's start Jupyter. So Jupyter Lab. So in case you don't have any of the packages, you can install the packages with pip. So pip install all of these packages, right? So these are the packages we'll be using. And then we're using Altair, using Streamlit. And then, yeah, so these are the packages we're using. Right. So in case you don't have it, you can just use this particular command. We will not be using Delix. Yeah, these are the packages that you'll be using, right? In case you want to, and then scikit-learn, don't forget scikit-learn. And then scikit-learn. Right, perfect. So these are the packages you'll be using, right? Perfect. Okay, so now let's move on and start Jupyter. So Jupyter Lab, we we'll start Jupyter Lab, and I'm going to copy my data set, which is going to be the first stage of the app, my data set and then move on to the data preparation. So GitHub also has some very nice feature called project that allows you to be able to track whatever I'm going to be doing. So if I go back to the project session, I can create a project right here. This part of GitHub, right? It's a free system, a free service on GitHub. Then let's call it as my end to end uh, yeah, NLP project, right? Something like that. And this is going to be, it's opening for, for me. So I'm going to close this one and close the app, right? Okay, so I'll go back again to this place and I'm going to call this my end to end NLP project, right? With Python, Streamlit, and then scikit learn. So these are the packages that we are using for our test. So I just click on this. So we can just go straight away without any template. Let's create a project without any template then from here we'll be tracking it so this is just like the kanban board or like trilio which in which you can just add a column i click on add a column let's give it as what i'm going to do right so we have to do what you are planning on doing and you're also going to have a uh, doing right what you are doing right and then done when you are done right so this is going to be done when we are done okay so let's start with this so we have doing done and then to do so i'm going to click on this and create stuff so the first one is going to be my data preparation right and then from there i'll move from data preparation i'm going to build our model so build model so this is you're using the pipeline build model and then pipeline to make our work easy for us then from there I'm going to productionize it, right? We'll not be evaluating it. We just want to make it simple. So it's going to be productionize model with streamlet, right? And later on in the future, we will try and see if we can deploy the app, right? So that is what we are doing, right? So these are the very busy stuff we'll be doing. So now let's cancel this one can see what we have here right so the first thing that i want to first of all do these two things to do data preparation and then to do model building right so that's what you are doing right so let's go back and then let's check it out so i'll go back to my jupyter notebook which has already been open inside my chrome here i'm going to create a file and then i'm going to name this one as my let's rename this one to my end to end nlp project right so this is going to be something simple. Let's call this end to end NLP project. And the main project is going to be on emotion detection, right? 
we have done that one again but i want to start detection in test something like that so that's what we're trying to do this is going to be a test classifier app right aka test classifier test classifier perfect so this is going to be very fast stuff so i'm just going to go back here and then let's import our packages so i'm going to pause and import the package to be using i'm going to load our ETA packages and then going to which is going to be importing pandas and then pd I'm going to be importing numpy as mp right so this is going to be something very simple and as usual we're going to load our EDA pack load our database packages so this time you just be using seaborn import seaborn right as sns right yeah just using seaborn because we want to be fast then we will also load our test cleaning package which in this case is going to be import lead test that functions as nfs right then the final one is that we load our machine learning packages ml packages to help us with our test so the machine learning package should be using that we'll be using our estimators so just using two packages right so it's going to be from skln dot linear model we are using linear regression to build our model so linear model import logistic regression and then you can also use circuit line so from sk then dot naive base import multinomial and that is going to be our estimators for our vectorizers for our transformers we will be going with from sk lane dot feature engineering feature engineering feature extraction I said feature engineering import count vectorizer so i'm just using count vectorizer not the rest right perfect so these are the packages we're using right now let's start with our work so i'm just going to go back again then load our data set so df dot pd underscore read csv i'm going to go back into my data folder and i'm going to create and put, copy the data there right perfect so that is the place and if i check it back again we have it here right so let's go back and check it out this is inside a folder so we have to face it let's check it out it is here right mm. here this is inside the notebook so i'm going to go back into this notebook copy the jacket this is the jacket so copy this one from here into my notebook create a folder called data and this is where we're working on right perfect so this has been modified so i'll just go back again to save us time we will just move on straight away to this so it's going to be emotion so i'll copy this one right perfect. so let's check it out so i've already cleaned it but we just move straight away with it so let's use a different so let's use a different one right the one that is not cleaned so this is this one and let's take out this let's read it so if i go back and i check it out perfect so we have our data set here right with our motions and then our stuff then let's check for the value count for the target so it's going to be my df dot emotion this is going to be very fast because we have done it already value count if i check it out you can see the distribution right you can actually plot this one using seaborn so let's plot it so let's plot to be my sns dot count plot i pass in my s is going to be my emotion that will be the target and then the, the data is going to be my df so this is something we have already done you have seen the probability of it right so you have joy you have sadness and then this is it it's not that balanced but you keep it like that now let's move on straight away and clean our data set so this is going to be the data clean data preparation stage then move on to the feature engineering so i'll go back again to what you are doing so this is going to be my data cleaning so we are using need test to help us with that so i have to just take off some stuff so we are using need test so need test functions if i check out DRL, we saw that this particular package you can use to do a lot of things we can extract some stuff we can remove all the things that we don't need from our test we can also do some interesting stuff right so 
there's a video on it already so we'll not be going through that so let's check it out i'm going to clean my test so i'm going to go to my df dot test which is the test column right and i want to clean it so it's going to be dot we are using apply i'm going to pass in my new test dot function we want to remove uh, hashtags and then this is from twitter so remove user handles right we are going to remove all user handles from our test that removes all of them so that's what we'll be doing right i'm going to create this one to clean test to get our clean test right then i'll do the same thing i'll repeat this one for moving stop away so this is for user handles This is going to be for let's say stop let's just do two of them so you, uh, stop ways right perfect so this is going to be the same thing so clean test let's remove stop ways right perfect so we have gotten our clean test and now we can just move on away perfect but let's i think we can also take out some special characters some special characters from it let's do that so our work becomes cleaner a little you can also do limitization and the rest but this is going to be very simple so let's go with a remove special characters if you move special characters right so this is going to be empty so yeah we can leave it like that let's not remove it so that it doesn't fail okay perfect now let's move on to build our model right so the next step we'll be doing is we are going on the feature engineering, building features from our test. So we'll be using a pipeline to make our work easy for us. So let's specify our features and then the label, sorry. So it's going to be my S features, which in this case is going to be my, my clean test. And then my Y labels, it's going to be my emotions column. We are not vectorizing anything, right? So let's split our data set before we vectorize we we'll split data so i'm using train test split so it's going to be my s train and then my or the s together or the y together s test y train y test then import said input it's going to be my train test split i'm going to pass in my s features and my y labels then from there it is very advisable for you to split before you apply your pipelines because it will prevent data leakage. So from here, I'm going to specify the test size. Test size for this is going to be 0 0.3, right? Something very, and let's specify a random state of let's say 42 so that you also get the same result. Perfect. So we have finished splitting our data set. Now let's build our model. We are building a pipeline for it to make our work easy, right? So I'll be using from sklearn dot pipeline. So in case you want to learn more about pipeline, you can check the links below for more. I'm going to import pipeline. Then let's build a simple pipeline to help our task. So this is going to be my pipeline. Let's go to pipe allow. We are building a logistic regression pipeline. So the pipeline is going to take in my vectorizers and my estimators, right? So I'll specify the steps, which in this case is going to be Right, so this is going to be the steps of the pipeline. Right, it's going to be the step of the pipeline. It's a list that takes in two tuples, right? The estimator and then the transformer. So my transformer here is going to be my count vectorizer. Count vectorizer. And let's use another model. So the model is going to be my LR model for logistic regression. I'm passing my logistic regression. So you can also specify the limits, right? So that it doesn't run out of memory. So this is going to be the pipeline we are building, right? A very simple pipeline. So you can build multiple pipelines. This is going to be a logistic, a, let's say logistic regression pipeline, right? pipeline, something like that. So this is a simple pipeline we are building. Now let's build our model. Let's train, right? Our data, train and then fit. So how do we do that? It's going to be my pipe, but allow dot fit. I'm fitting the S train and then the Y train. So we take some time. It's going to give us an, a slight warning because of the limits for log logistic regression. 
then this pipeline is going to be very simple. So using this approach makes your work quite easier. You don't need to go through a lot of steps. So whilst it's building it, we we'll move on and then we we'll see how to do some simple evaluation of the model. So we get on to check for accuracy. I just use a pipe ll.score. I pass in my s test and then my y test, right? So this is how to check for it. And I'll make a simple prediction, make a prediction. So the simple prediction is going to be something like this. So I can just make a simple prediction for that. Right, a single prediction. So let's pick in a test like let's say example one that has given us the limit error. This is not an error, it's just a warning because of the iterations number. I can modify it anyway. Now it has finished building our model. You can actually visualize the model built, right? In case you want to visualize it, you can also do that by going with pipe. You can also check the if I go with pipe LR, you can see the various things there. We have the steps there, right? also virtualize but check the links below for that okay now let's move on from here and let's check for the accuracy of the model which is 62 percent which is okay right now let's make a prediction so i'm going to give it my test so let's say this book was so interesting right it it made me happy something like that so this is a simple test you want to classify the emotion of this so it's going to be my pipe ll dot predict Right. I'm going to pass in my example one. So using pipelines make our work very easy. If I click on this, now we can get joy. Right. We do not even vectorize the joy. Right. It automatically identifies it perfectly for us. You can also check for the probability of this prediction. Probability. So how do we do that? If I go back, yes, predict proba. Right. So that just given us a predicting probability. But how do you know the values? So to to know the classes, right? You can just go with my pipe ll dot classes underscore. So this is going to give us the location. So you see that one, two, three, four. So joy here is the highest here, right? That is a basic understanding. Very cool. So that is a simple way we have built our model. So you have seen how to prepare our model, do feature engineering, build our model. We can also continue with the evaluation, doing classification report and the rest. But let's move on from here to the productionizing of it, right? Because there's a whole video on it, so we don't want to go through that. The links will be below so they can check. So let's move on from, let's serialize the model and then move on to this particular place. Okay, so I'll go back again to our workspace here, right? And let's see the model. We are saving the model in the pipeline together. So it's going to be mine. The format to save your pipeline is very simple. Just go with this option. So let's go just my pipe pipeline for the file pipeline file, right? I'm going to specify. So we are using joblib to help us to import joblib. Then I'll use joblib to serialize our model. So it's going to be my file. So I'm going to print a file. Let's call this my the name of this file is motion classifier. So as you always do pipe allow right and i'm going to give it the date so the date is today is the third june 2021 dot pickle i always give the dates and the, what it does so let's go just right byte perfect then let's save it so job lib dot dump my pipe dot integration model then i'm going to specify it to dump it where dump it to the pipeline file then it's very important that you close it the pipeline file dot close that is all so it's going to save it there that save it here. if you check it out that save it is going to come anyway so let's go back again it's supposed to show here don't worry to show yeah so that's come right perfect so now this is what we're using to do our next step of the project so let's move on and then go back to our kanban we are finished with the data preparation we are done we are finished with model building we are done now let's move on to productionize our model with streamlit so i'll go back again to the location of our pipeline that we have which is let's check it out so this here right i have a lot of files open don't worry let me close all of them let's close all of them yes yeah, so this is where the model so i'll copy the model here right and then i'll just go back out of this particular place and i'll paste it inside my model folder so we have our model here now let's go back again 
to we are done with this particular place we are done. you can actually continue with the steps but let's move on faster okay so let's save this one and then let's go back to our workspace so this is where we're working i'm going to split my terminal vertically and then we we'll just expand this one this is from another project we are doing so you can also check the links right okay so let's check it out if i check it out three you see that everything is working so we'll now be building our app here right very simple we can actually move the entire stuff into another folder right to make our work more cleaner so that's video but let's keep it there so let's open it to sublime i'm going to open the place with sublime Okay, let's rather make a folder right let's make a folder for that so make directory let's call it as let's let's call it as a uh, emotion yeah let's give it a very nice name so let's go just a uh, app right i'm going to accept the app moving to app right then inside app i'm just going to create another file called app.py so you're no more going to be using this one right so and inside this, I'm going to make another folder, another directory called my models. Now move that models there. So let's check it out from here. So we have created a folder called app, where it's going to be the app. We're also going to have our model and then the app itself. So let's take off this. So our work is clean. I'll copy the model that we serialized into my models folder. Yeah. Very simple. So this is what you are working on. So I've opened it. So let's open it back again. Yeah, so I'll just go back again. So sublime dot. You can also use VS Code in case you want, right? Okay, so there's it. So let's build our simple app, right? So the structure for the app we're building is this particular format. So this is going to be the structure for the app we are building. Right. So this is what we have done so far. We are at the stage of trying to productionize the app. So if I go back to the app, it's going to be the simple app workflow, right? So what you are doing is that you're going to build two different pages, right? The home page, which is going to have our test area in which you can type in whatever you want to type. Then whatever is typed is going to be sent to the pipeline, the model that we built. Then it's going to analyze it and give us our original test and then our result, the prediction probability and then the prediction, right? Then whatever the result is going to come, you're going to store it inside the database. And from that database, you're going to be sent to another session of the app in which you're trying to track all the predictions and then do some visualizations. That's something very simple we're trying to build, right? So you are building two main pages. So I'll go back to the app that you have built. Yeah, and let's import our core packages. So just as we always do, we're importing Streamlit, we import Streamlit as ST, right? I'm just doing something very simple. Then I'm going to import the other packages. So our NLP packages. This time we are not just going to import a lot of things, just import our normal packages, right? So we can just import our ADA packages because using pandas also. I'm going to import pandas as PD, right? I'm also going to import numpy as MP, right? We've we'll seen the reason for that. And I'm also going to import for utils. So let's call this one as import droplet to help us serialize our model. Very simple. And let's create our main app. Everybody can see this. Yeah. Hope it's big enough for everybody to see. So in case you have any question or contribution, you can put inside the comment section below, right? This is going to be our main app. And then I'm going to press pass. So everything is going to go here. So if main, as we always do, right? So let's build a simple part of the app. So it's going to have our menu. So it's going to have our home session. We're going to have our monitor or manage, right? You can call it monitor. Let's go just manage. Or let's go give this monitor. I give it the name as manage anyhow you want it to be in our about page. So let's create our choices. Going to be if are you going to use a st dot sidebar dot select box with pass in my menu, the main menu, and then this menu here. So as we always do this together, so we see that if the choice is called to home. Let's go to the home session. So st dot subheader, and this is going to be my home session. So home. Let's go just my test. Or oh, let's go just home. Yeah, emotion and test. Right, something like that. Then the next one is going to be else if the choice. 
if I'm going so fast, you can let me know. <laughs> it's going to be the monitor, right? This way we track in st dot sapeda. That is, let's call it as something like let's say monitor, right? Something like that. Then else, everything is going to be st dot sapeda for the about. So this is being built with streamlit. Very simple, right? So let's give a simple description of how the app does. So st dot title. Let's call this, uh, let's give it something like a uh, emotion classifier, right? Something like that. Right. This for test, right? Something very simple. Now let's run the app and see whether it's working first. So I'm just going to go back to my place. This where the app is. If I check the tree, you can see that the app is there. To run it, you are using streamlit. It's going to be my streamlit run app.py. So in case you don't have streamlit, you can just install it with pip. Very simple. And then now once it's opening, what is we're going to use our default browser. I'm just going to create based on what you are doing, we need to be able to create a session right for our test area and then for the busy stuff. So I'll go back again to the app itself. We are using streamlit forms to make our work easy. So we're going to write st.form. We're going to specify the key for the particular form. So the key for the form, so it's open perfectly for us. So this is the app being open. So let's use Chrome because Chrome is cool. So I'll go back again, paste it here. I'm going to position side by side so that we see what you are doing, right? So let's bring it down. I hope you can hear me. Okay, perfect. So that is it. So let's create our key. Let's create our listing key. The key is going to be my, let's call it as, let's say, I give it any form, right? Let's say form, right? My form, something like that. I can give it any name. But let's give it a proper name that matches our work. Let's call it as emotion, CLF form, right? Something like that. Okay, so that is it. You are creating a simple form something very basic so the app is already working let's make sure that it's working so the app is loading perfectly well there's no errors anywhere we have to fix this one it's going to give us an error but we fix it yeah so it's working but you have to give it okay so let's go back again from here perfect so we are creating our form and as we said we need to create a place to receive the test so i'll call this my raw test I'm going to specify the st dot test area, and I'll pass in my test to type here or test here, right? Or let's call it as type here. Perfect. That is all, right? And then we need to create a button. So let's call it my submit test button. St dot form submit button. Then from here, I'll just pass in. Let's see. Let's give it a label. As submit, but I can call it as classifier. Anyhow, you want to be so that is a simple form. So, if I run it, we should run this app. Let's see what you are getting. Yeah, see, so we have our test form here, right? Now we can actually type in our test there, right? Perfect. Now, after the person has clicked on this form, let's say that if the submit button, not just a submit, if the person submits the test is clicked on, I want you to do something. So, let's create a column one and a column two just as we saw inside our image, two different columns, and then we will work on it, right? So two columns, column one and column two, so st dot beta columns. So in case you are watching it from the future, beta columns may have been changed to st columns, right? Okay, beta columns two, perfect. Then from there, I'll just specify, okay, this is something. So this is going to give us our columns, right? Perfect. Now. Let's say that with column one, this place is going to be ST dot success. It's going to be the original test, right? The pen supply. I'm also going to specify the success, the prediction. Perfect. All right, this is going to be under one column. Then with column two, this is with column two. I'm going to specify that. Okay, ST dot success. It's going to be the 
probability right it's going to be like let's say prediction probability prediction probability probability right something like that probab let's put it to proba proba b d t <laughs> can i spell it right something very simple so let's check it out so if i paste in the test here we are supposed to get the original test here so we can just go with my original test which is going to be my st dot write the raw test so let's check it out so let's type in a test so this app is so cool right so if i write in so has no attribute beta column it's supposed to be beta columns so let's run it again if i click on the button this app is so cool right so everything is working as expected perfect now let's work on the other aspect so based on our workflow we need to be able to send the result to the model the pipeline then it's they send the test to the pipeline the model there's going to do the predictions and then we send it back so let's see how to do this. I'm going to create a function to help us with the model aspect, right? So that's going to be the next function. So I'm just going to go back here. It's going to be the functions, right? So I'll create a function called, I'll create a simple function. Let's first of all load our pipeline, right? So pipe, allow the pipeline we'll be using. There's going to be my job lib. I'm using job lib to help it. Job lib dot load, right? I'm going to open that particular file. So open the file. So we are going to go into our models folder inside our models folder as we already know if i check it out from here we have the model here right this particular model so that's what you're trying to put there so the models so emotion classifier pipe allow 03 is too long but it makes sense 2021.pickle dot right I'm going to open it with read byte so this is going to open that particular model right perfect then after that open it you'll be creating our functions so the function to read the emotion that's going to be the next function you're creating right so let's call that particular function as get emotions or predict so let's call def so predict emotions something like that then this is going to take in the document or the test supply I'm going to call my results. So pipe pipeline dot predict. I'm going to pass in as docs right. This makes it, we are not going to vectorize it. Everything is inside the pipeline. Then let's return that particular one. So we're going to return the result. Perfect. Let's create another function to not just predict, but also to get the get prediction prober, right? So one is going to get prediction, get in predict emotions, right? And one is going to get a prediction probability, right? For that particular test. So the same thing. So this is going to be my result. Same thing, function above. You can make it simple. So predict proba. Pass in my docs, right? Then this is going to retain the result. Perfect, right? So we have gotten something very simple. So let's make this one return not this is going to return a list so let's return it as the this is going to return it as a string right bringing the zero is going to return the string this is going to return the entire dictionary okay perfect so predict emotions and then get prediction proper right these are the two main functions here working on so i just go back again and then let's apply the functions here so i'll apply all the functions here so apply functions here right to make it uniform so let's apply it so it's going to be my result you can call it as my prediction, right? I'm going to call it as my predict emotions. I'm passing the raw test. They are passing it as a test, raw test, right? Then this one is going to be the probability, probability. I'm going to call it as my probability to predict or get prediction probability. I'm going to pass in my test same thing so raw test that is all right perfect now let's bring the result so this is going to be st dot right the prediction perfect and this is going to be my st dot right the probability for that particular 
prediction right so in that case you can just specify that okay probability so let's check what you have done so far so this app so let's click on this app is so cool let's check it out voila everything is working so it give us our sadness <laughs> i don't know why it's giving us our sadness and it's giving us this particular stuff so we want to get this one well right to get all the percentages for them as well as to get this one in a better way so i'll just go back again <laughs> it's funny that you saying this app is it is anyway so let's move on to the other aspect of the app right so we are finished with these two aspects the emotion aspect you have gotten it now i want to also create a simple dictionary to get the particular name right so this is giving us a sadness so this is giving us a sadness. i want to also add some emoji to this particular one right so i'll go back to the app and then let's paste in the emoji so i'm going to put paste in the emoji here this is an emoji for all the various attributes that we have right very nice and then be picking it out so to get that particular emoji i can just go back and say that okay this is going to be the emoji so emoji icon something like that it's going to be my emoji dictionary so i'm going to pass in the prediction as a dictionary so this is going to be something like this so let's go specify it like this so the emoji and the other one right so dot format the prediction is so joy right whatever the prediction is going to be and then the emoji icon so that is simple stuff you are doing right, to make our work quite easy i'll close it so if i save it and i go back again so let's check it out let's move it from this so this app is so cool it is fun and happy and joyous right yeah that is an old english okay so let's check the prediction this is still saying that this sadness and say that the emoji is sadness right so it is matching very well so that is the prediction aspect but you also want to make this one better by converting this one into a very nice table right in which you can actually plot so let's go back and make it in the format of a table so to get as we saw earlier on in the notebooks how to get the classes we can also use the same idea here same idea because for the classes right this same thing to get the classes for the table so i just go back again and then let's add it one to it so this is returning something we can actually convert it into a data frame right so let's convert it into a data frame so i'll call it as this let's call it as a uh, proba df right i'm going to pd the data frame using pandas data frame so to com convert the entire result or the probability into the data frame and going to specify the column right so columns i use this particular one to get the column names right very simple so if i go back and i do st dot right and i go with proba df let's transpose it if i check it out back to the app itself so let's change this one from this to i uh, i am happy right yeah i'm happy we don't want any sadness so let's check it out I'm happy voila and now it has come in a very nice format so we want it in this format not in this format you can see that this, this particular one here is the highest here right very nice so we want to also get this particular value to be the confidence so how do we do that so it's going to be very simple to add it as a confidence of that particular one we can just go back again to this place and specify that okay this is the probability we are getting so in case i want to get the confidence i can just go with my st dot right i'll call that my confidence for that particular prediction dot format then i'll pass in my np right numpy dot max to get a maximum for that particular because as you can see this is an array right how to get a maximum value there so the maximum value is going to be the prediction there so it's going to be my probability right perfect and now by that same token we can actually make this one better so this is going to be the class and then we can actually this is already given right it's already given but let's create a better one so let's put as proper df clean right something like that this we want to modify it so that we can plot it right so i'm going to pass in the same thing to be a probability df dot transpose reset index because i want to get this as the 
the emotions and this is going to be the since where we can plot right let's go right perfect that's something very simple and then i'll just give my df this is perfect right and now i can just specify this to this dot columns let's go with this the emotions and the next one is going to be the probability probability right now let's plot it right so this is going to give us in a better format in case i want to plot it i can use alt let's go to fig alt dot chat there is no alt to plot it so i'll pass it apologies i'll pass in my probability clean or you can call it df proba anyhow you want it to be df prob probability df clean anyhow you want it to be right <laughs> okay and then we must go with my mark bar so mark bar dot encode now passing my s is going to be my emotions and then next one is going to be my y is going to be my proba probability perfect that is all right and now we can plot it to so st dot alt so alt is part of streamlet already so i can just go passing my destiny to plot let's go to use container width width so that one to true so let's import alt from above right so i'm going to import alt so import alt as a alt right perfect so let's check what you have done so far hopefully there is no mistakes anywhere so let's see i'm so i am so happy let's put question mark question mark question mark it's going to this must be happy i'm so happy let's see the prediction yeah it's yeah joyous right confidence of 80 uh 80 84 percent and you see that everything is working so we have to take off this we don't need it and you can see that we have our prediction here right joy right so you have built the app but i prefer this one to be of a different color so to give it a different color from this all you have to do is go back again to the alter plus here and then specify the color so the color i'm specifying the color the color is going to be let's pass in the emotions column right perfect so if i go back again to the same thing that we did let's take off these things we don't need it so i'll take off this i'll take off this i'm uncommenting them so that we don't have those things there so let's go back again i am so happy so in the next session we'll be trying to see how to track this particular app right perfect right so, so that it is very nice now I click on this i'm so happy right voila very very cool right very very nice so you can keep on so that is one aspect of the app so you have seen how to build this part of the app in which we get the result and then we send it here right so the next session of the app will be trying to keep track of the results that is coming and then use it in the monitor session so that's why we're trying to do it in the next session because the video is becoming too long so to recap we have seen how to follow this normal pipeline and then we have built something from scratch we saw how to build color data do some data preparation feature engineering we build our model with the pipeline and then you have seen how to productionize with streamlit streamlit makes our work very easy right and this was the app workflow so the next session I'm trying to see how to build this particular part of the app so thank you for watching and then see you next, next session so to recap it's very simple we imported our core packages here we are just loading the model the model the pipeline we created two functions to work on our prediction and the prediction probability we also created a session to receive the form and then to process everything so thank you for watching see you in another session stay blessed bye you can also check the link below for some more interesting stuff and in case you want to want to sponsor this channel you can also sponsor it also see you another time